Hi, I'm Laughing Woman, and I'm doing a reading today to see how we can best use the energies of the coming week so that we all have a wonderful, happy week. Okay, so the dominant energy for the week is our mental energy. So we're going to be doing a lot of thinking as we move through the week and using our thoughts to help us clarify where we need to go, what we need to do, what we want to do. But before we get to the thinking, we begin our week with the wonderful watery energy of mystery. So know that you may be stepping into the week not quite knowing what this week will hold or being surprised by what it does hold. Just be ready for that and enjoy it. From there we move into consciousness. So the mystery only lasts for a little while before we have full awareness of it. And one of the aspects of consciousness is that we choose to be fully aware of what's going on outside of us as well as what's going on inside of us. So pay attention to your internal motivations, your internal stories, your awareness of how you'd like to interact with other people and why you'd like to do it that way. In the middle of the week this week, we get, get some changes going on. Changes are cyclical in human life. They come and they go and they come and they go. And we're in a cycle of change. And the consciousness that you're at at the early part of the week may very well lead to that change because as we choose to be aware, we start noticing other options. So we move from the change in the middle of the week into feeling like it's a really good idea to talk to somebody else about some of the options we have available to us or some of the things we're thinking about and getting an outside perspective on that. This can be a friend, it can be a family member, it can be anybody that you hire to talk to, it can be anyone out there, it can be the squirrel in your backyard, it's just fine. Just get an outside perspective of whatever it is that you're thinking about. And when you get to the end of the week, it's all about perspective. You need to know that. You can look at what's in front of you as if it's a very difficult, confused, tangled, struggle kind of thing. Or you can look at it as if it's an adventure or a pleasure or just the way life is. Choose the perspective that you want to have. This is part of being conscious. I know that I'd like to feel this way about it, but it'd be a lot more fun to feel this way, so I'm going to try this one on. Play that game with yourself a little bit at the end of the week this week. So in summary, we begin with mystery. And mystery is a fun thing this week. It's not something to be afraid of. We move from mystery into consciousness, which tells me that the mystery has resolved itself and that we're at a place of awareness. We move from consciousness into change. And that tells me that the consciousness is probably what's causing the change. We've noticed something that we'd like to do differently. From there, we move into consultation, which is simply getting an outside perspective on whatever we're thinking about before we take action on it. And we hold perspective at the end of the week. We choose whether we're going to come from a perspective of struggle or pleasure. Choose pleasure. It'll be a lot more fun. Have a great week this week. <laughs>